Hey Freedom Fighters, how's it going? This is Kala here at Students for a Free Tibet International Headquarters, bringing you SFTTV. SFTTV is your source for news, information, and updates from SFTHQ right here in New York City. Today is Thursday, May 29, 2008, the last day to vote for your favorite Coke ad jam. If you haven't already done so, folks, go to www.studentsforafreetibet.org slash Coke contest. Once again, that's www.studentsforafreetibet.org slash coke contest. And the results of who won will be showed tomorrow at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time uh, here on SFT TV. Okay, now here is the news. This is from Radio Free Asia. Tibetan detained for media contact. Chinese authorities have detained a Tibetan man in China's southwestern province of Sichuan for allegedly speaking with foreign reporters about massive protests that swept the region earlier this year. Nima Drakpa was detained late April 19th in Tawu, in uh, Chinese, Daofu County in Sichuan, an authoritative source said. The security forces came in three vehicles from China, and they were not local police. Quote, it was alleged that he sent photos of protests and passed information to reporters in Hong Kong. He's a very smart person and had many connections, a source said. He got a contact number from his source in Dharamsala and told a Hong Kong reporter in Mandarin that the Tibetans weren't protesting against the Chinese people and certainly not against the Beijing Olympics, a source said. Quote, he said that there are no human rights for Tibetans and that their religious teachers aren't allowed to visit them in Tibet, so he stressed again that they were not protesting against the Chinese people or trying to obstruct the Olympics. Uh, this is from the Tibetan Center for Human Rights and Democracy. China fires gunshot on peaceful protester in Kartze. The Tibetan Center for Human Rights and Democracy has documented numerous cases of protests, particularly led by the nuns of various nunneries in Kartze County in the past few weeks. According to latest, uh, to latest information received by the TCHRD from reliable sources, three nuns of drug car nunnery and a female student were arrested by the Kartze County Public Security Bureau officials for staging a protest yesterday. On May 28, 2008, at around 9 a.m. Beijing Standard Time, three nuns of drug car nunnery in Kartze County uh, Tibetan Autonomous Prefecture, Sichuan Province, staged a peaceful demonstration in Kardze, Main Market Square. The three nuns chanted slogans calling for, quote, the swift return of the Dalai Lama to Tibet, quote, long live the Dalai Lama, and, quote, freedom for Tibet, and the immediate release of all political prisoners. The protesting nuns even distributed pamphlets um, calling for the independence of Tibet. After a period of short demonstration, they were arrested and taken away by the Kardze County Public Security Bureau officials for, question, uh, for questioning. The names and origins of the three nuns were identified as Venerable Sangye Lamo, 26 years old, uh, Venerable Sewang Kando, 38 years old, uh, Serch, uh, of Serchuteng Township, and Venerable Yeshi Ladin, 24 years old, from Soji village in Kardze County. The present condition and well-being of these three nuns are unknown at the moment. Please stay tuned for more developments on that. And uh, this is from the March Back to Tibet. March to Tibet supply trucks confiscated, fear of food supply shortage imminent. With the authorities confiscating the fourth and last supply truck carrying kitchen utilities to make food for the marchers, there is an imminent fear of food supply shortage. The police have obstructed the marchers' movement from the campsite 80 kilometers from Almora and are keeping vigilant on anyone entering the site. Almost 200 kilometers from the Indo-Tibet border, 
The marchers are, however, determined to continue their march and have made their decision clear to the authorities that they would be willing to forego on food for their resolve in realizing what they set out to achieve. For more information and updates about uh, the march, uh, return march to Tibet, check out www.tibetanuprising.org. So that is the news. And once again, if you haven't already voted for your favorite Coke ad jammed video or graphic, go to www.studentsforafreetibet.org slash Coke contest. Alrighty, folks, um, definitely stay tuned for uh, an amazing week of action coming up next week on uh, June 4th. The International Olympics Committee's Executive Board will be meeting in Athens on the anniversary of Tiananmen Square. Do I smell irony, anyone? Alrighty, so um, definitely um, check out SFT TV on uh, tomorrow for more updates and peace in Momo Greece. No, we don't get it. All on big, tummy chick, look at chick, runs it away, chick, is a chick, not only put on the other leg, a chick, cap a magical leg up, runs it away, cap, pep, 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 p